Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the random variables. Itong topic na to are for those grade 11 students who are taking up statistics and probability. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have your definition of random variable and it goes like this. A random variable is a result of chance event that you can measure or count. So, medyo may mga familiar words sa inyo dito dahil nagkaroon, meron na kayong idea about probability nung kayo ay grade 10. And another thing about random variable, we use capital letters to represent a random variable. So, along this topic, you will experience or makaka-encounter kayo ng mga experiments like tossing coins, rolling dice, tapos yung pagkuha ng card sa isang deck of cards, yun yung mga possible experiments na may, may encounter nyo dito. At para mas maintindihan nyo yung random variable, I have your problem. We're in, suppose two coins are tossed and we are interested to determine the number of tails will come out. Determine the values of random variable t. In this problem, our random variable is t. So paano ngayon natin mahahanap yung values ng random variable? So, one important thing before natin sagutan ito is that dapat alam muna natin what is the experiment in this problem. In this problem, the experiment ay yung pagtutos ng coins. So, example, meron na itong dalawang coins. I have your two coins. Nakapag-flint natin siya. One and two. Ayun yung experiment natin. Ang tanong dito, what is the event? Sabi dito, we are interested to determine the number of the tails will come out. So, kapag tinas natin yung dalawang coins na meron ako, ilan daw yung number, number of tails na pwedeng lubas? At ayun yung ating random variable t. So, to solve this problem, ang first step natin is to get the sample space. Kailangan natin makuha yung sample space muna and we will represent that as s. By the way, yung ating sample space, siya yung set of all possible outcomes ng isang experiment. So to begin with, as for example, ano nga, dito tayo mag-start. Kapag nag-toss tayo ng coin, so diba, pinyari, single, meron tayo single coin. Kapag nag-toss tayo ng single coin, meron tayo isang coin muna. Kapag nag-toss tayo, uh, ang mga possible outcomes ito, it's either head or tail. Again na, pwedeng head, pwedeng tail. So lagay natin dito is head and tail. That is for the first Coin. Remember, ang ating experiment ay tossing two coins. So, meron pa tayong pangalawang coin. Sa pangalawang coin natin, hindi tayo sure kung head or tail. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon dito, for the first coin, meron tayong head, tail. Pero, pwede natin i-pair dito. Pwede tayong magkaroon ng pairing na pwede lumabas sa pangalawang toss natin ay head. Dito naman ay pwede maging tail. Sa pangalawa naman, pwede siya maging head din at pwede rin siya maging tail. So getting the outcomes of this, alam natin that this is head head, ito naman head tail, ito naman ay tail head, ito naman ay tail and tail. So ang sample space natin ay apat lahat. So those are head, head, head tail tail head and tail tail so right after natin makuha yung ating sample space gagawa tayo ngayon ng table para makuha na natin yung values sa ating random variable t sa table natin ito yung maging tsura natin table for table lagay natin dito dalawang column and then okay So we have here outcomes and meron tayo dito um, value of t. Yeah. So divide na sa apat kasi meron tayo apat na outcomes or possible outcomes. Ngayon, sa outcomes natin, sa sample space natin, punta nyo yung sample space natin, dito nyo kukunin yung outcomes natin. You have head and head. Pangalawa yung head, tail. Pangatlo ay tail, head. 
and sunod ay yung tail and tail. As you can see, mayroon tayong four possible outcomes. And remember, sabi dito, determine the number of the tails will come out. In this first outcome, we have head head. Wala tayong nakikita ang tail, therefore, we will represent that as zero. Kasi wala naman tayong nakuha ang head. Okay? For the next possible outcome, for the next possible outcome, we have here head and tail. And remember, kailangan natin bilangin kung ilan yung lumabas sa tail. So, since mayroong isang tail, that is 1. Dito naman, we have tail and head. Therefore, isang tail uli yan. And lastly, we have the last outcome, tail and tail, which is 2. Tails ang lumabas. Ibig sabihin yan, ang conclusion natin dito, ay we can say that the values... of random variable t are 0, 1, and 2. Or in symbols, your t is equivalent to 0, 1, and 2. Ayun nga yun yung pinaka-concepto ng random variables. So, ano ba yung mga, ano ba yung pinaka, ano, pinaka-importance, bakit natin kailangan hanapin yung random variables? Kapag alam kasi natin, ma-identify natin yung values ng random variables, we can easily identify um, gano'ng kalaking chance na lalabas yung gantong klaseng event sa isang experiment. Now, for problem number two naman, we have here, suppose three coins are tossed, let y be the random variable representing the number of heads that will occur. Find the values of the random variable y and complete the table. So clarify na natin na, the experiment here is again tossing a coin but compared to the first example, dalawang coins lang, ngayon tatlong coins na yung toss natin. And here, sabi dito, uh, let y be the random variable. Yung y natin is your random variable and it will represent the number of heads. So heads naman ang target natin that will occur and find the values of the random variable y and complete this table. So, let's say for example, mag-toss tayo ng first coin. So, kailangan natin makuha yung ating sample space. Mag-toss tayo ng first coin natin at ang possible na lalabas dyan ay head t. Tama? And then, you will toss the, ne the next coin and you can pair it to this coin. Ang possible na lalabas dyan ay head or tail. Dito naman, Possible natin siya naging ng pairing na head at tail. And first, second. So we still have the third coin. Yung third coin natin, we can pair this as head, tail. Dito naman ay head, tail. Dito, possible na head, tail. Dito naman ay possible na head and tail. So, ang ating mga possible outcomes or ang ating sample space, eto. We have your head, head, and head. So, H, H, H. So, meron tayong first. Tapos, head, head, and tail. So, head, head, tail. So, head, head, tail. Next natin is head, tail, head. H, T, H, Second, HTT, HTT, sunod, THT, THT, ah, sorry, THH, and this is THT, tapos, TTH, and lastly, T, T, and T, or tail, tail, and tail. So, meron tayong tatong tail. So, all in all, ang ating mga possible, ang ating sample space ay walo. So, sulat lang muna natin ha. We have H, T, H. Sunod, head, tail, and tail. Sunod, T, H, and H. Okay? Saan na ba? Tapos, tail, head, tail, followed by T, T, H, and lastly, we have tatlong tails. 
So, all in all, pag binilang natin, we have 8 sample space. Ilalagay natin siya ngayon dito. H, 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 T, H, T, H. So, tapos H, T, and T. Tapos E, H, and H. So, now, tail, head, tail. And then, we have tail, tail, head. And then, tail, tail, and tail. So, ngayon, punta na natin yung number of heads. So, sa first outcome natin, 1, 2, and 3. That is 3. Meron tayong tatlong heads. Second outcome natin, meron tayong dalawang heads. So, 2. Ito, 1, 2. 2 pa rin. And then, dito, sa fourth outcome natin, head, tail, and tail. Meron, meron lang tayong isang head. Sunod, 1, 2. So, meron tayong dalawang heads and THT isa, isa, and then 0. So, ngayon, pag tinanong kayo, find the values of the random variable y. So, as you can see, ang mga numbers natin dito ay 0, 1, 2, and 3. Therefore, the values of the random variable y are 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, ganun lang kasimple yung ating um, pagkuha ng values ng ating random variable. So, medyo mahaba siya but madali lang siya kapag inyong titignan. So, in the next part of our video, I will teach you what is the difference between discrete and continuous random variable. So, I hope natuto ka sa ating lecture today and please consider subscribing to it para mas updated ka sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!